In this presentation, we'll show you how to quickly get started using the opcalarm.net window in a Visual Studio application. We'll use Visual Studio 2010, but you can also use Visual Studio 2008, 2005. The alarm control can be incorporated into either a WinForm application or a WPF application. If you would like to create a web application, we have a separate quick start video for that product. In Visual Studio 2010, we'll select File, New, Project. We'll select a WinForm application and set the target framework. If you're going to be running on an XP operating system, select the .NET Framework 2.0. If it's Vista or Windows 7, you can choose 3.5. And if you know that you have the .NET Framework 4.0, you can select 4.0. After entering your application name, select OK. Here we have the form designer. We're going to stretch out the form to give the alarm window a little more space. In Visual Studio 2010, if you've taken the default of the 4.0 framework, you will need to set the target framework to not use the subset of the client profile. That is easy to do if you right click on the project and select properties. For Visual Basic you select compile, advanced compile options, and then set the .NET framework to the full framework version not just the client profile. Double click on the form so that we open the form again and now in the toolbox you'll see the alarm control. If you have not yet selected the alarm control in your toolbox, right click on the toolbox and select choose items and select the OPC alarm control. We're going to take the OPC alarm control, hold the left mouse key down and drag it down into the space that you want the alarm window to appear. We can right click on the alarm control to set the properties. The alarm control currently is set up to communicate to the local service. If you want it to communicate to a remote service, if you plan to deploy the application on a remote system, you will want to set the alarm network nodes. And here you simply include the IP address, network node name, or registered domain name. First you'll select the local service or some remote node. Then you'll have the add node button available. Here's where you can then type in the remote system that you want to connect to. I'm going to leave it at the default to connect to the local system. I'll use the anchor property so that I can change the size of the form and it will stretch, or you can use the dock property if you'd like. And now let's run the application to test it. So here we have the real-time alarms available. You can see that the alarm window is scalable. If I double click on an alarm it will acknowledge it. I can sort and manage the alarms with the grouping feature. And if you set up alarm logging, which is covered in a different video, you can use the historical replay feature. If you have any other questions about opcalarm.net or any other product features of opcsystems.net, visit our website at opcsystems.com. Under the training page, we have more detailed videos on this product feature and other .NET product features. And under Contact Us, you'll find our contact information and the link to request a free product demonstration.